We're going to be doing some bushwhacking. Um, it doesn't look like there's much of a trail. Oh god, this is atrocious. This is bad. Well, this is what bushwhacking is all about. And I think I can get back into the forest here if I don't get bit by a snake. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm lost. If that doesn't call for a banana flask, I don't know what does. Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning into the video. We're gonna get right back into the action, but I just wanna do a quick shout out to Husk Knives for sponsoring this video. Currently for all my viewers, Husk is running a 50% discount on their authentic knives. You can test the Husk knife with a 30 day money back guarantee. This deal won't last for long, so make sure you check it out by clicking my special link in the video description and pinned comment below. Made from high quality stainless steel, this knife features a hygienic rustic style handle and a 38 degree blade edge that ensures extreme sharpness. Husk knives come out of the box razor sharp and they'll stay that way for years. The curved blade with a grip hole enables better precision and handling to make chopping and cutting actions easy. The especially sharp blade makes sure that the knife won't slip from applying unnecessary force and won't hurt your hands. It is light, durable, and sturdy. These knives are 28 centimeters in length and weigh only 252 grams, which increases the comfort and control and reduces the potential for accidents. And the blade dulls so slowly you won't even notice. Perfectly sharp, this heavy duty stainless steel knife is forged with nature in mind. And nature is unpredictable because a hiker never knows where he might find himself tomorrow. However, throwing a husk knife into your backpack means being prepared. So once again, currently for all my viewers, Husk is running a 50% discount on their authentic knives. You can test the Husk knife with a 30 day money back guarantee. The deal won't last for long, so make sure you check it out by clicking my special link in the video description and pinned comment below. All right, now let's get back into the action. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm out here for a backcountry overnight adventure. I scoped this place out on Google Maps. Um, we're going to be doing some bushwhacking. Um, it doesn't look like there's much of a trail. Uh, if, it, there, if there's much of a trail at all, it's a game trail or it's an old overgrown trail. I am on state land, so I'm allowed to be here. I've got a machete in case I need to clear some brush out. I scout it out five minutes in or so and it's pretty rough to be honest but um, I can get to a place where I can walk alongside basically like an overgrown prairie and I don't think that's gonna be super rough um, there is a hidden lake back in this way um, I got the maps downloaded um, from Google I'll be using that I've got plenty of a signal so you know what let's hit the trail what little there is of it. See, there's kind of a trail. It's not too bad. You can get to that prairie type area over this way. So we're gonna try this. Interesting. This looks promising. Okay, well this is not a trail. This is some kind of structure here. Okay, God knows what this is. I don't see any type of way of identifying it. If you think you know what it is, leave me a message in the comments. I'd love to hear your opinion. Okay. It's starting to look more like a trail here.
And this is where I ran into problems before. You can see. It's getting pretty dense here. Okay. And here is this kind of prairie type area. And it looks like I can walk along it. So we're going to try this out because this is the right direction. Oh God, so this just continues like this and it's a lot to walk through. But right here, looks like we can poke back in the trees, take advantage of the shade. Does this go somewhere around here? Not really. I don't have too much of a choice but to keep walking like this. Oh God, this is atrocious. This is bad. This is not good to be walking in stuff like this. I will definitely have to check my body for ticks. No question. I really need to get back into the woods. This is not working. And I think I can get back into the forest here. I don't get bit by a snake. Well, this is what bushwhacking is all about. This is what I'm working with here. And plus, these types of things all over the freaking place. You can see I'm already getting pretty sweaty. I gotta make sure I find that lake. It's super isolated, so I am gonna filter that water. I got my Sawyer squeeze with me. But I've gotta keep this going. I gotta keep getting through this stuff, so. We're going to keep pushing on here.
So I've been at this for an hour and I don't think I'm even halfway. I'm gonna have to figure out a different method to continue forward if I'm gonna make it to that lake. So I'm gonna see about pushing back out onto that prairie for a minute. We're gonna give that a try and see where we're at with it. Back out on this little prairie. See that. We're gonna walk this for a minute. We're gonna see what this turns into. Oh, good Lord. Beautiful sky. See, this is why we do it. This is why we do it right there. So if you're getting a kick out of this and you have not done so already, please click that banana wherever it is up here. Please click that banana. And if you are a returning subscriber, oh God, thank you for turning back in. Okay, let's see. I don't know if you can see exactly how high this stuff is. This is what I wanted to avoid. I got these things brushing up on my face. I was going on an hour of working that and I was maybe a quarter of the way to where I'm going. So I'm just gonna have to do it this way. There's not much of a choice. Well, this looks like a trail. I'm gonna poke in here a little bit because this actually looks like a real trail. <sighs> or at one point it was. And the prairie is coming to an end, so I'm gonna have to poke back in. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Somebody's Murphy, Murphy's can, and a shotgun shell. I always try to grab garbage, but this is a little harrowing. So today, if I see any out where I'm gonna camp, I'll definitely grab it. But for now, the best I can do is make sure, obviously, that I don't leave any garbage. That's number one. But if I see that thing on the way back out, I'll definitely grab it, no question. Okay, we're gonna check the map. And back over this way, I see light, which tells me that there might be a opening of the trees, which tells me that it might be sparse enough to walk through. I'm getting deeper into the woods. This isn't really what I wanted, to be honest. You know, I'm going back. Because this way, it's just getting more and more and more dense. Pushing into here. And I'm gonna get myself in trouble. I'm gonna push this way, which I know is the direction of that lake. This is what bushwhacking is all about. Just pushing through crap. Oh boy. Okay, so this is the danger of bushwhacking. This is what you can get yourself into. I'm completely, just completely in nothing but just dense, dense, dense wood. I do have a signal and I do have Google Maps, but 
I'm chop, 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 chopping. To get through this crap. And there's thorns everywhere. And I would be lying if I say this was fun. This thing's crazy. If you know what this is, leave me a message in the comment. I thought this was like a metal barbed wire fence or something at first. I don't know what the heck it is. Crazy looking. So this is my whole day here so far. I didn't bring water. Because I brought a filter and a Nalgene. And I'm gonna filter the water when I get there. But look at me. Also, probably would have been a good idea to bring gloves, huh? <sighs> okay. <sighs> Gotta check the map. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going the right way. So that's good. Um, I don't know how much more I'm going to get of this until I get to the lake, but I think you can kind of get the impression of what's going on here. Chop, chop, chop. Scratch. Slide. Shuffle. Bleh. This actually looks like a pretty basic trail. Almost like a portage trail. This is a welcome sight. No question about it. I don't know how long this stuff will last. And then as soon as I say that. Uh, crying out loud. Oh, I got the pack sitting there. Taking a rest for a second. I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm lost. Oh. Sometimes when you... <sighs> try to do adventures and you know sometimes when you try to push yourself to do something new you can bite off more than you can chew and I did that I am way way far out in the dense woods and I'm not exactly sure how to get out of here I don't know if you can see it but the sun is starting to go down So, I've got to recoup, I've got to try to figure out how to orient myself, um, so I'm going to hook my phone up to the charger to make sure it doesn't, I do have a power bank to make sure my phone doesn't die, I'm going to take five and recoup, and... I will check back with you in a minute because I think it's important to document this. For crying out loud. Any clue what these are? Leave me a comment. Okay. You probably can't see it. But the lake, this is a little inlet, which I know where it is. 
and the main big body of the lake goes that way which means I have to kind of bushwhack around this way and then I'll go back along that line and somewhere back over there is my original destination so I think I'm back on track and I'm hoping for the best here oh god <sighs> Stay with me. Well, look at that. <sighs> well, I would say I'm not out of the woods yet. But I think I have a pretty decent idea of where I'm at. Oh, this was really honest to God. This was not the plan. I did plan on bushwhacking, but I thought there'd be rough trails. I mean, I got pork chops in this pack. I got a six pack of beer. I was planning to come out and just go camping. Oh, good Lord. I wasn't planning on getting lost in the wilderness. See, I see stuff like this and I think, hey, that looks like a nice trail to head back into. But then I get in there and I can barely move. I'm basically crawling. But then I head this way. And it's just all of this. I don't want to filter that. I could. I could if my life depended on it. But I think I just need to make it around there. And then back in that way. It'll open up. And it'll be nice and clean. So we're going to keep trying to push. I got time. I got time. So if you can see it there. I can't tell if you can see. I got about an hour until the sun sets. And I've still got to get over there. This is where I'm at. This is a little area I came out of. I can't keep going this way because it's just as hard out here. But I just have to get down this way and over to that thing. And I am excited to get there, I'll tell you that. Very excited. Oh, good Lord. At this point, I'm just risking walking through this stuff because I'm cut to ribbons. I'm completely exhausted. Oh. And I just want to get there. Look at this. Just dense, 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 dense. Nothing, 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 nothing. All of a sudden, what do we got? It looks like a trail. I came in from over that way because it was not, it was not great, but it was okay enough to get through. Come up this way. Come up this way. Keep coming, 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 coming. What do we got here? Oh my god. This is a sight for sore eyes. It's open. You can see down. I'm up a little bit. I don't know how long this is going to last. But it's nice to see it. Well, that's all she wrote for that part of it. 
I was really excited, hoping that that was gonna stay that way. Oh, for God's sakes. Just about walked through that. Sorry, spider. This isn't terrible. But it's not like what I was just like on. Was, that was like a backpacking trail. You can see. We're almost there. Oh my god. If that doesn't call for a banana flask, I don't know what does. It's the magic of a Sawyer. Oh. oh my God. The best tasting water I've ever had. I don't even want to make a fire, but I have to in order to cook the food I brought. And I'm worried if I don't, then um, I'm not gonna have the energy to get out of here tomorrow. I'm gonna get the firewood, I'm gonna get the camp set up, and then I'm gonna clear out a spot for the fire and um, I'll get back with you when I got everything rock and rolling here. I found this thing for 15 bucks at a flea market in Maryland when I went on a vacation with my in-laws over the summer. So I was very excited. It's a great find. I got this little uh, fire starter my mom made me. A little cotton ball with petroleum jelly wrapped around the bottom of a cardboard egg carton. Thanks, Mom. I didn't bring a lighter. I only have this ferro rod.
So I was planning, I didn't think it was gonna take this long. I didn't realize what I was getting myself into. I brought pork chops, I brought potatoes, I brought onions and peppers and all that stuff and garlic and stuff. I think I'm just gonna cook the pork chops because those will go bad. I think that's all I'm gonna cook because I'm just whooped. I brought a six pack of beer. I think I'm gonna drink one, maybe two, and then I'm going to um, dump the rest of them out, crush the cans, and take them with me. Because I don't want the weight, but I can't drink six beers because I'm dehydrated. And I'm just gonna get, it's just gonna get worse. So that's the plan. That's what we're doing here. Marzen Oktoberfest. It's Ohio, baby. Molar Brew Barn in Maria Stein, Ohio, and Troy, Ohio. I guess they got two. was a rough day. That was not how I intended things to go. Oh man. I definitely overcooked these, but they're okay. Goodness sakes. That's tough. I got a little worried earlier because I did lose cell signal for a little while. I have it now. So, um, I have Google Maps downloaded. I know where I am. I can get back out. I can go the way I came. Or, I think I have a different route mapped out. And I might go that way. I'm going to have to get up super early in the morning kind of figured this all out but this will probably be my last bushwhacking adventure I don't know I say that and then a couple months goes by and then I think what the heck why not try it again I don't know but I'm super exhausted I was very dehydrated I thought I would get to the lake sooner than I did so I didn't have water to hydrate with on the way. Um, basically, I'm going to try to get to bed, get up super early, and just try to get the heck out of here. That's the plan. That's not bad. It's definitely an adventure, that's for sure. I was lost for a minute. I was a little nervous because I... This place isn't that big, but... When you don't have a trail at all, um, then... It can be really tedious. I mean, I think I'm a mile, mile and a half in from the car. But it took me over two hours to get here. Because I don't have a trail. I'm, just, I'm not just walking. I'm like zigzagging all through the woods and everything like that. So keep in mind, guys. You know, I've been at this for a couple of years. 
I, I still make mistakes. I like to leave mistakes in because I think that's a uh, good learning experience. Um, and if things don't go according to plan, I think it's good for people to see that so that hopefully that they can avoid those mistakes in the future. I really appreciate everybody tuning in. It means a lot to me. You know, just people watching the videos and stuff. Um, so much work goes into it. If you've ever had like a bushwhacking experience like this, of just kind of going in and not being on the trail, I'd love to hear your experience. If you could tell me the story of what happened to you when you did it, if you have a friend or family member who did it, I'd love to hear about it. Leave me a comment below. I'm going to finish these pork chops and I'll check back with you guys in the morning. Cheers. Back to this one. This is what they call type two fun, right?
So, <sighs> yeah, this is fun. Don't forget to click that banana. My mom wants me to come to her hiking group. And come hang out with them. Um, So, I don't know if I am up to that after the day and night I've had, but we'll see. If I don't make it, Mom, I'm sorry. Well, there's a sight for sore eyes. Mission accomplished. Oh, thank you guys for watching this far into the video. It really means a lot to me. I appreciate everybody for stopping by. And I'll catch you on the next one. Macaroni and cheese! Macaroni and cheese! <laughs> cheese! Can you see everyone? Macaroni and cheese! Cheese! Macaroni and cheese! Macaroni and cheese! Hi, this is Sam's mom. Camping with Sam Bananas. I want you to subscribe to this channel.